waiting at the bus stop for the bus to take us to the consultation. I'm nervous. Very nervous and excited. Hey, it's Rav and it's been one year since I had top surgery and so for this video, we're going to be talking about how, how that journey panned out. I had my top surgery consultation like the other day and I'm pumped. I'm going to be getting a double incision mastectomy. With my current anatomy, the tissue is pretty close together. Like, instead of being like a little bit more like this, I'm like quite like this. The tendency would be for my incision scars to be pretty close to each other or even like connected. And then after that, we were like good to go. Like we set a surgery date and that's coming up. I'm six days post-top surgery. Looking forward to my bandages getting changed tomorrow. Day one post-op was pretty uneventful. I was like sleepy for most of the day. I was very, very bloated. Day three post-op, I was less bloated. Day five post-op was when I was getting very bored, very antsy, and very sticky, sweating into my bandages and my binder. And I just can't wait for tomorrow when the dressings change and I can like have my reveal. Okay, Rafael, why don't you look down for the first time, right? Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. That looks awesome. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> this so. is great. So very bruised, yeah. very swollen for now, and uh, very fragile. It's yeah. a great start for us. I'm about to have my fifth shower post-op. The surgeon did warn me that I'm gonna have like some gnarly looking nipples for a little bit. That's fine. These are how they're looking so far. They like cut pretty far back past my arm on both sides. This one is really stretched and this one's like a decent size. Revisions later on like might be an option. They're still like a little bit swollen I think. Bruising is still working its way out of my body but I think I'm off to a really good start with my healing. One month post-op and if I'm like using my arms a lot like I do start to feel like some pain over here. So here's how I'm looking and sensation wise I feel this up to here. My scars I kind of feel them but like I kind of don't. This part I feel the pressure but I don't like feel it. I feel like when I feel this, I'm feeling it with my fingertips and not like my nipples themselves. And my incisions connect. They looked blue last time. Apparently that was just leftover adhesive and ink. Nipples are looking pretty okay. Like this one's doing pretty good. The surgeon said this one's kind of like behind by a couple days. I obviously still have some like swelling. This side I'm not too happy about because it's like really pointy but i talked with the surgeon about it and he did say that revisions are an option later on spoiler alert i never shut up about revisions and i do end up getting one revisions are an option later on and also working out a bit more and building more muscle back here would probably help today i'm going to talk about how i'm feeling how i'm looking and how i'm healing three months after top surgery shirtless raft time ignore this situation here it has nothing to do with my healing i have like a dog ear situation that i'm not super fond of over here they crease quite a bit you really can't quite distinguish nipple from areola they're all just one flat ish lump but even if my left pec is still the mvp and doing really well my right pec isn't doing terribly he's catching up even this part that was really bothering me for a bit improved i'm starting to do better with like distinguishing sensations with my nipples i can kind of almost tell the difference between a fingertip touch versus like a nail touch in general i just feel much much less of a disconnect overall six months after top surgery i have been feeling a lot more positive about my chest and about my body lately it's a nice feeling overall i do have sensation throughout my chest there still are like some sections that feel like just a little bit off still this area especially like this part like does have like a little bit of a collection of like fat and leftovers. Somewhat like just the nipple grafts themselves. It's not like the same heightened level of sensation as before. I would compare it more like touching like my shoulder or like an arm or like a less sensitive like area of skin. So the scars themselves have flattened out pretty nicely. The edges of my scars still bother me. I am not super into them. I feel like my chest in general has been feeling a lot more firm and I think that is a combination of healing, working out, and testosterone. I also feel like my nipples are looking a lot less flat now which is nice. It's kind of cool when they're poking out of my shirt and then I notice that my scars are also poking out of my shirt and then that's not as cool. I'm one year on T, 10 months post-op and today we're gonna be talking about how I'm feeling how I'm healing, how I'm looking 10 months after top surgery, and why I'm getting a revision. I 
mostly have my sensation back. I feel textures, I feel pressure, I feel temperature. I don't really feel like I'm missing out anymore. Talking about appearance, I feel pretty happy for the most part with how things have settled on top of the time I've spent healing is also just the time I've spent working out and building my chest, losing a little bit more of my body fat. It's settling really nicely. Also, my grafts seem to have a decent level of protrusion to them and the dog here on my left side has improved. I would prefer it to be still a little bit less folded over. This has not improved as much. I'm not happy with it and I want it fixed. Also, the graft on this side has stretched quite a bit. Not a huge fan of the shape, but getting tattoos around it has definitely helped with me feeling a little bit more content and not as fixated on it. My scars have gotten a little hypertrophic at certain spots. It's not great. And now we're gonna be talking about why I'm getting a revision. I can only do so much with building muscle and getting tattoos. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I can settle for something that looks like this. I don't want to settle for something that looks like this. And honestly, I'm I'm feeling pretty excited about it. I'm not excited for not being able to work out for a couple weeks or so. That's not gonna be great. I'm gonna work through like whatever body issues I'm gonna be feeling as I recover. I'm one year on T, 11 months post-op, and 2.5 weeks into recovering from my revision. So the two procedures that I got done were one, getting injections along the scars themselves, and two, removing excess fat on the side of my chest. And immediately after the procedure, my scars got really swollen and they were actually very, very pale. Like, they were almost white. Towards the end of the day and into the night, they were bigger and darker. But then the next day, it wasn't that bad. They were still pretty swollen, but they were not purple anymore and were more like a red kind of color. And so over the two weeks, they improved a lot. They're a lot less swollen now. I wasn't given any like strong painkillers or anything after the surgery. I just was fine with Tylenol and Advil. By maybe day four or five, I was mostly okay. I'm one year and one month post-op. Here's how I'm looking so far. I think my chest has healed pretty well and especially with the revision addressing this part that was bothering me for a very long time. It doesn't bug me as much as it used to. This bothers me a little bit because it's still dog earring just a bit. We didn't address that during the revision. This part is improved a lot more. It still like sticks out a little bit, but it doesn't really bother me as much. I do still have the pointy part over here. I try not to let it bump me too much. In general, my incision scars are healing a lot more, especially along like this pec. I can feel like my chest, my skin works. My nipple grafts, I can feel them when they're being manipulated. I'm just happy at this point to have any <laughs> sensation. The pockets of numbness I used to have, like at the sides, I don't really feel anymore. I'm feeling pretty good about the appearance so far. It's like leaps and bounds better than it was at the start. I would like this and that to be a little bit better, but I think I'm content enough. It feels pretty good either way how they look. This is how they're looking from this side, and this is how they're looking from this side. I can flex them, which is fun. <laughs> There's that. My main focus at the moment is to continue to build muscle, continue to just rock this chest. I went to Vancouver Pride Weekend. And it felt really good. It felt very liberating. Being one year post-op has definitely been life-changing, but I do want to be real for a second and say that it hasn't fixed everything. I still struggle with my weight and how I feel about it. To be honest, after my revision, I had trouble staying on track with my calorie counting and with my food intake. For a little bit, I was okay with like gaining a little bit of weight after the revision because it is like a little bit of a surgery and it is something that like needs fuel and food to like heal properly. But after that, I just felt so like off track. And also around that time, I think is when new lifter gains just starting to slow down in general. That was really feeding into like a little bit of a messed up mental health space for me. Also, it's been hard comparing myself to other people who are also on your post-op. Seeing other people and seeing like a really, really sick looking chest and then looking at mine and like knowing that I had to get a revision to fix it, I still have some of it sticking out. Some of my scars still like a little bit big. I don't want to be comparing myself to other people. Part of why I share my journey is so other people can see the less ideal results and see me working through how I feel about it and finding confidence with my body anyway. Because yeah, I'm really happy with so much of like the overall look of it. And I find myself like looking in the mirror and staring at like every little thing that I think is imperfect. Going down that rabbit hole, it's just not good. I just wanted to like bring this up to like share that like it's something I'm dealing with and if it's something you're dealing with, you're not alone.
and like we'll get through this together <laughs> hopefully no yeah we will get through this together it just takes time i think it just takes self-love it just takes support from the people around you that's where i'm at i'm trying to be patient with myself the cornerstone of my transformation in the last year was trying to love myself more and hate myself less and it's a struggle it's never like smooth sailing if it is for you you're really lucky <laughs> give me some notes all this to say the year has been good it's had its ups and downs i dealt with a lot dealt with getting a revision because i was unhappy with like what i had and i had to really advocate for myself to get it i think the revision helped significantly <laughs> my neighbor just be yelling that's right that's right and i'm like losing my train of thought completely <laughs> I really hope that following my journey has been helpful in some way and I really hope my channel is helpful in some way. It's just nice to have this community to share it and it's nice to like talk to people about it. If you want to see more of videos about my transition and stuff like that, check out like all the other clips on my channel or check out any of the playlists I've made. And if you haven't yet, I'd really appreciate a subscribe because I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers so that I can get a community tab and connect with you all better. Also, if you've seen my art and if you like my art or if you want to see my art and you end up liking my art and you want me to maybe draw a portrait or like some kind of illustration, I'm taking commissions right now. Hit me up on social media or email me. And till next time, see you in my next video. Bye.